Hello everyone, I am SM72, yours truly Silver Mario 72 and welcome back to the second episode of Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights for the Nintendo GameCube. In the last episode, we just pretty much kicked it off. Uh, we got our map and I showed you guys the craziness of it. And right now we got our first little into really <laughs> we got our shovel and we got a key and now we are able to enter uh our little, I guess you could say our first little area, Smuggler's Cove. And again, we have Hedge Maze, Mystic Manor, Monster Galley right beside it, Mystic Playground, which is the, basically the tutorial, and Smuggler's Cove. Smuggler's Cove, I think, being the most complex, because you have these secret passages right here. You press A, and you got all these things, and, and all these little, you know, things that connect to each other, and it's crazy. But anyways... We're going to just continue on here, see what's up. We're going to go to Shock on the Dock, Part 1. Let's just check out Shock on the Dock. There are no monster tokens here, and it's 0 out of 0. But there are 154 snacks that we need to collect. So we're just going to move our way here. We don't have to focus on clearing out all the snacks. Yeah, there's a bunch up there, but again, I can't get up there at the moment. So we're, not, we're just going to jump along, just, you know, see what's up, so... Again, swing on things, time your jumps carefully around the flying fish. A little bit of platforming going on here. So if you get, if you touch them, you get hurt. Alright, you can jump on top of small monsters to squash them, like this. And this is the death animation for monsters. I think it's still pretty cool. So that takes care of them. Alright, now, again, now, beware Scooby-Doo, you need one of them professor's inventions to defeat larger monsters. Alright, well, we don't have any invention that allows us to sneak past, so we're just gonna... This is the caveman. And we're gonna just... We don't have an invention to defeat him yet, but we can at least stun him for momentarily before he snaps back out of it. So we're not gonna worry about him, really. Alright, so now we're just going to head in this door, and of course, we move on to part two of Shock on the Dock. And what we have here, we have... You see, the funny thing is he would know, like, what... <laughs> okay, it's hard to explain, but, like... Yeah, and then th this is the funniest part of it. Um, you can toss Shaggy. So let's see what happens when we try to toss him over this. Oh, no, did I just... Okay, good, he walks off. <laughs> he just walks off. You know what, what happens if we throw him onto here? Come on, that should have worked. Yeah, he just walks off. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Oh yeah, what you can do is you can do this. You can do stuff like that to get the snacks. Or you can just do other stuff. Yeah, so it's pretty awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, the game does get pretty funny because basically... Shaggy in this game basically just like does his own thing. He just basically shows up whenever to give some help. So yeah, it's pretty funny. Now I know what a rubber band feels like. <laughs> All right. Yeah, of course Shaggy wouldn't be able to. Go on, Scoob. I'm gonna hang around here. Yeah, get it? <laughs> hang around. I'll catch up with you Okay. Later. So we're just gonna leave him there. Have fun. And of course he'll be gone when we come back, when we spawn back or whatever. Again, we're just gonna stun him for the time being. We can't defeat him really right now. Oh, we can do that. All right, stun him again. Like, because you can actually grab this snack, so that's yeah. Those are worth five, by the way. If you didn't know. 
Um, and over, th I don't know if you can see it, but... On. Right over there is the sea creature. We won't be dealing with that till later. Looks like you need a little spring in your step. Look for one of the professor's inventions. Use the door behind me to get there. The crusty ganner. Yeah. So, we can't jump over this nor bash it. So, because when we try to do this, it doesn't work. And here's another warp gate. It's not activated right now, but now it is. So now, if we wanted to, we could go back to the mystery machine, but I'm not going to do that because after my hard work, I'm just going to exit out. And, uh, you want to make sure you collect enough snacks and eat 50, eat plenty enough. Now we're just going to go in here just because we can. Uh, Fear on the Pier, part two. See, as you can see, it, the game does get a bit wacky with where you have to go. But all you need to do is just follow the order. Like what I'm doing, and uh, if you get hit like that, then all you need to do is collect one of these sandwiches, it's food, and then you're back to... I cannot run on tar, so we can walk, though, and get to places. So, Fear on the Pier Part 3, okay? Just as a curiosity, let's take a look at where we are on the map. So it looks like we can't go anywhere else. Okay. So it looks like there's only th three parts to Fear on the Pier, but part one we are not going to get to because it's somewhere else that we cannot access. And, uh... Um, what are those guys called? Like, okay, well, we know these are crabs. These are, like, the ones that you can squash, but I can't squash them right now because I can't jump. Uh... The cycle. Uh, the Cyclops, the whatever, I don't know. And here we have, uh, saved. Zero percent. Oh, yay. Again, this is a hundred percent. Springs invention. Now you can do a double jump. Yeah, there we go. You know what? Can I hop on that? I wonder if I can. I'm gonna try it. Ah, uh, whatever. Now, yeah, again, I can't jump because it's tar and I don't have the invention yet that would allow me to. This is fine for now. Okay, so... Alright, we're just gonna go back. Now that we have the springs invention, you're thinking, well, what can we do with it? Well, you're about to find out what we can do with it. Well, first I'm gonna do this, just because I can. Of course, I can't jump to get that, which sucks. Of course, I can't get past this, which sucks. So... We're gonna go back. Oh yes, and you cannot jump in the water, otherwise of course you're gonna drown. And die, and the sound that Scooby makes is devastating. So, what we have to do is we have to go back, but in order to save time, the easiest way to get back is to do this. Use the warp gate. The warp gates are very handy. You don't have to walk all the way back. So... So now you're probably thinking, all right, well, what do we do now? Okay, so the spring, we can double jump, but we certainly cannot um, bash through a spider web with a double jump. So what we do next is, this key is too high to reach without the springs event. As you can see, you jump once, you can't get it. Jump twice, you can get it. By the way, uh... Snack here, snack there, and snack there. But we are full on five health. By the way, it will always be five health. By the way, you cannot. We cannot gain extras. All right. So welcome to the hedge maze. Yes, we are indeed in the hedge maze. We have four parts to on hedge in the hedge. We're just gonna move on from there. We have two monster tokens to collect here. Doesn't matter if we get them now or later. We have 371 snacks. No matter what, this will be 100%. Doesn't matter when I clean up all the crap, but yeah. All right. So we're just gonna move along here. We have spiders. Then we have our double jump. There's a five snack for us. Some platforming. All right. Now. You will need the helmet power-up to open this gate. 
And we cannot get and what sucks is that it looks like he can jump over it, but of course logic is in video games that you cannot. So if you're wondering what that monster is, it's the werewolf. And I don't believe have I oh yeah, I've seen the big bad werewolf episode. Um we'll talk about episodes in the monster gallery. Uh, cause there's a bunch of things they show, and, um, here we have the witch. Um, my favorite monster it won't be coming up for a while. I'll have to think about, uh, I'll have to tell you guys what I fear the most, and, you know, stuff like that. But, this game gets really exciting, and I know you guys will enjoy it, so, please be patient with me. The beginning may seem like I'm barely doing much, but here we have the zombie. Seen the witch and the zombie episode that's probably like one of the top five episodes of all time i think uh we have another werewolf again all we can do is stun them we're just gonna move on here to part two of on hedge in the hedge uh so where do we go let's take a look over here now we need a professor's plunger invention to make it up this ramp come back when you have found it I'm gonna try, you know, I'm gonna jump up there. Let's do it. Yeah, as you can see, it's not the tar, it's something else. And that's something else. You cannot jump across there. So we're gonna have to come back for that later. So we're gonna go down here and see what's up. The bash his ass. Alright, and as you can see, you get close to him. Surprised. We're gonna stun him just for the hell of it. He can't do much. Again, we wish we could go to kill monsters right now, but unfortunately we can't. Here's a spider. Jump on him once. It's so easy like that. And now when we come down here, we'll find this guy again. Hello, Scooby-Doo. Here are two of the professor's inventions, the slippers and lampshade. You can use the slippers to sneak quietly past monsters by pressing the Z button and the R button at the same time while walking. So what another thing I like about this game is the complex control system. We actually get to use the Z button and R button for good purposes here. You can use the lampshade to hide from monsters by holding Z button and R button at the same time while standing still. Use your new lampshade and slippers to avoid the zombie hiding in that urn. Alright, so, there he is right there. You hold Z and R. You let go of either one of them, it doesn't no longer work. You have to hold them both at the same time. While I start walking, he won't come out. But if I were to let go, then he would pop out, pretty much. So that's how you can do that. I don't really find it too... I don't really find it that much of a major invention. I find it just a minor, because... I mean, so what if the monster shows up? You can easily just, like, get past him, I mean... I mean, I guess, I don't know, maybe we'll find some good purpose for it, but in this game, as I know of, I don't really use it that much for anything. But there is one funny point in the game where I find it funny to use it, and you, it won't be till like, the very end, so. Um, by the way, those enemies, you can't kill them, they're kind of just, like, there to spray you with crap. Um, don't get hit by these things, like that, because they actually hurt. Oh uh, yeah, and you get different kinds of food to- Here we have the Scarecrow! And if we come up here... Gate another, again, the gate appears to open from the other side. Danger. Cliff below. So we cannot enter. I'm gonna do that to you, buddy. Don't hit these things, because you will get hurt. Don't get hit by the Scarecrow. Look at the Scarecrow walk. Probably, he's also really hilarious, by the way. Now we got some more platforming to do here. Make sure to collect the snacks, I mean, it's better to collect, it, it's always important to collect snacks. You need to open snack gates, so. Yeah, I guess he's blind. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that's a scarecrow, I mean. By the way, the scarecrow, the monster token, it took me, like, I don't know why, but the scarecrow is, like, one of the two hardest tokens 
for me to find, but I finally found it a while ago, actually. And it was just basically me being stupid, so, yeah. That token was very hard to find for me. It's not going to show up for a while. Don't worry about it, guys. All right, what we got here? Hey, Scoob! Better hop on quick! This thing has a mind of its own! Okay, Peggy. Oh, sorry about that. <coughs> Alright, so... Okay, there was nothing that was gonna hurt me. <laughs> it was like, jump, scoop, and then he was just like, yeah. Okay, that time I really needed to jump. Jump, scoop! Okay, I jumped. Yeah, this part is actually pretty awesome. Pop back on, Alright, so... Yeah, we're gonna do some... This, is, this part is always pretty epic. Uh, is he gonna hit me? No, he's gonna miss. Wow, his... He has a bad job. Alright, we're just gonna wait for Shaggy. He's gonna jump right on him down. Oh yeah, and here we get some more. Oh yeah, Shaggy's like, whoa, yeah. Alright. Oh yeah, and this part is always pretty hilarious. Yeah, he's just gonna fall down. He's gonna still be there, I think. Um, yeah. So it's pretty hilarious. Oh, this part's pretty epic. Oh my god, that scenery, though. Oh god, I almost missed. Gonna fall up. Come on, Whoa, okay, alright, sorry about that, Shaggy. Can't imagine, like, if you just jam on the bridge. Oh, yeah, and here we got another warp gate. So now we don't have to go through that ride again. Yeah, of course we can't hit him. Okay, alright, uh, so that takes care of that. Now we will have to worry about doing that ride again, because we collected all the snacks anyway, so... I hope you guys enjoyed that, we'll never see that again. Um, unless I decide to, just because, just for fun, but... Here we have our next little part. It's a mean greenhouse scooby, we're just gonna save here, just because... Alright. Wow, okay, that was... Okay, so we can't get past this because we still need the helmet. Um, come over here and... Are you sure? <laughs> oh, by the way, the way she attacks... Yeah, that's how she attacks, pretty much. So, yeah, just don't go over there. That's pretty pointless. Alright, avoid this little piece of crap here. Whoa! Oh, man, that was awesome. As you can see, that this game, the game is heating up. Soon we'll be able to kill monsters. It'll be pretty awesome. <coughs> Alright, we can't go through here yet. What we can do is we pull on this thing. Do some more platforming. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, that's pretty hard to avoid, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna simply walk past it. Alright, um... Yeah, we can do one more part, I guess. Wait, where are we? We are at... It's a mean greenhouse Scooby. Uh, there's only two parts to it, so... Oh, this is the second part. Yeah, the title makes perfect sense. I mean, it is a mean greenhouse, because, I mean, you got all these monsters and crap, and it is a greenhouse. Jump on this bat. I'll uh, see you later, Cake. Got another bat. Jump on him, he dies like that. If you guys don't recognize this theme, I believe... It's like the second season, so I don't know. I'll have to look for that. I don't know. 
Alright. Scarecrow is pretty hilarious. With that, here's another warp gate. <coughs> Alright guys, I think that'll do it for this episode. We accomplished quite a lot in this episode. We got a, uh, we got the springs invention. Uh, we got the slippers and lampshade, uh, which is pretty hilarious. There will be an upgrade to it later on, to be honest. Um, but let's see. I was gonna say, yep. So in the next episode, we will head into the first part of Chills and Spills on Haunted Hill. There's three parts to it, apparently. We don't have to worry about any monster tokens, so that's pretty cool. So I'll see you guys next episode. Till next time, I've been SM72, yours truly, Silver Mario 72 um, Have a good day, guys, and I will see you next time.